Okay, this is November 2017, and I'm going to show you my autopilot modification to the Windrider 17. Uh, looking around, you will see my GPS here, which is in a splash proof, well, a splash guard and shade protector. My GPS is turned on right now, and it is uh, set to point to a waypoint near the nearest boat ramp that we have here. I want to show you this control panel here. There's two of them. On this side I have navigation lights and uh, depth sounder and on this side over here I have a control panel for the autopilot, the GPS, and a spare switch. But all of that controls all of my devices. This is the autopilot right here, or tiller pilot if you want to call it that. This tiller pilot uh, connects to a push rod. I want to show you that push rod over here. Let me help turn it down off the ladder. No. Okay. The push rod is a PVC pipe that moves the rudder back off and show them the rudder movement underneath them. As you can see the push rod can rotate the rudder arms and the push the PVC push rod is connected here. On the other end I have I have a uh, connection that comes with the, auto, the autopilot this pin right here that connects to the push rod uh, from the autopilot there. Uh, to connect to it all you do is clamp it in like that. Right now I'm connected to this autopilot and I can move this autopilot uh, manually by doing by pushing that switch to go right and push this one here to go left and I'll do that again. That's a manual right and a manual left and I'm about centered here and my rudder is, is centered as well. In fact, uh, I'm going to show you a video of the rudder moving. As you notice, it moves. And then I'll move it back to center. Okay. Now, another important factor is the GPS. Right now I have a waypoint, as I said before, set up pointing to the local boat ramp. And I see an arrow pointing in that direction. If I want this autopilot to take me there, I can do it by pressing a button here called Nav. And as soon as I press it, it will interface with the GPS waypoint. And I should get some mo movement here on this, on this autopilot uh, rod. Here goes Nav. You see it? It's now aiming the rudder toward the boat ramp. Well, hopefully this is going to work. By the way, notice this bracket. This is a very solid diamond, aluminum diamond plate, and it's strong. Underneath I have two uh, brackets here and over here, which supports that shelf. And the autopilot rests in the shelf. It has a bungee cord holding it down. And it also has a pin back here that it can pivot in if you notice. Okay, so now all I have to do is get it on the water and see if it works in reality. It might not because I have it orientated for an aft rather than at worth where it's supposed to be on other boats. Whether or not this, going, this compass, there's a flux gate compass in here, whether or not that's going to work when this is orientated 90 degrees out of position, I will have to wait and see. Thank you. Later sea trials proved it to be successful.